So let's go inside Freya's house. As you can see, Mrs. Eckert is here. You want to talk about Freya's death? The police say it was an accident, but I don't believe it. Like, seriously, there is a serial killer on the loose and somebody dies under suspicious circumstances, but the police say it's an accident. Come on, come on, who's believing that? Not me. So, you're the one who got Freya's crystalline eye lenses? Have you seen anything strange? Well, I've seen your daughter's ghost, if that's what you're talking about. Sometimes Freya saw things ordinary people couldn't. Now, she's a ghost herself. I know she was murdered. I know. <laughs> oh, no. Please, find her killer. If they're not found, Freya will never find peace. Use whatever you'd like for your investigation. Okay, she just gave us carte blanche to steal everything inside her house. Awesome! I mean, no, not awesome. I feel bad for her. Poor mom. And our job is to find the murderer's hideout. At the end of this chapter, we will find the murderer's hideout. So that's, that's how far I'm going to be playing in this video. To the hideout scene. I have to say, I, I just have fun with the conversations in this game. Just just talking to people. I, I just think it's fun. We don't get a lot of conversations, but the, the few conversations we get are just kind of fun to me. So, uh, we get a lamp, and we're going to put an X here. It's not actually an X, it's actually a, a red cross. And this is a puzzle. You want to try to get these crosses to line up perfectly so that they're all in the yellow area in the yellow area in the ye oh this one yellow air okay you can see when a thing is in the yellow area it kind of lights up a bit there we go there we go okay kind of a tricky puzzle kind of a tricky puzzle so anna anna she needs some sedatives so let's let's get her some sedative so, let me see. She needed a glass. Well, well let's, let's actually fix her faucet first. It doesn't really match the other handle, but yeah, I guess I'll work. So, now we're going to just dump some sedative in there. Here, lady. Have some sedative. Thank you. I'm going to rest for a while. Rest a while. Take this. It will help you open her cupboard. Okay, so she immediately falls asleep. Thanks, lady. Let's let's open the cupboard. This is oh, there's that ghost. Hey lady, I saw your daughter. She's still dead. But, you know, at least she's doing well. I don't know. Anyway, this puzzle, you want to try to move everything so it matches this. You'll notice I was sneaky and I moved things around so the top row is in place. Top row is in place. Now let's try to get the bottom row, which is H-U-W. There we go, H-U-W. And the middle row is not in place. I mixed up those two. Darn. Really, really close to solving that puzzle, though, right? Really close? Just just one off. I wonder where I made my mistake. Hmm. Anyway, uh, dramatic music is playing, so that means we can scare the crow. Take that, crow. And I'll use tongs to get this thing. A helmet shape. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the dramatic thing. I can go to the scene of the murder now. The scene of the murder. Freya went over here, and let's go back to the past with our time-traveling glasses. So Freya was here. She started taking some selfies when the murderer caught her and threw her off a cliff. 
Wow. Wow, wow, that guy really hates selfies. Man, that's that's intense. And her phone went flying over here. We've got to get that phone. That phone has valuable evidence. Unfortunately, I don't really feel like reaching all the way in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I I'm going to have to wait before I can actually get the phone. Man, why is our character kind of lazy? I mean, just, just reach in there and grab it. Come on, it's not that far, right? <laughs> well, we've got a shed here with a hidden objects challenge. First part is finding two gloves. So you find two gloves, and you find two bats, and you find uh, two chains. Two chains? And you're also going to find two... Um, squeeze bottles or whatever you call those bottles so that will un that will uncover the list of items you actually need to find and there's the lawnmower bucket of water over here snail and a light bulb over here hose and a bottle over there a rope over there a mask like this and clippers over here. That gives me a pair of gardening gloves. Hooray! Which I can use to go through this yucky stuff and get... Get the letter A. This video game is brought to you by the letter A. What? What? What, what do you mean you can't reach the button? Well, walk over there and get closer to the gate! Come on, main character! Oh, <laughs> main character is like standing three feet away and saying, Oh, I can't reach this thing! That's three feet away! No! It's stuck forever! What a horrible puzzle! <laughs> uh, have you thought about walking closer? Maybe, maybe you should try walking closer. Okay, so we get a net and uh, a battery. So this net will help us get that phone. Wow, our character's really good with a phone. I mean, really good with a net. Like, it would take me five tries to do that in real life. I I'm pretty sure in real life it would take me five tries. So, we've got the phone. The murderer, uh, pictures are on the phone? Let's give it to the police. I'm Arthur Moritz, the city's mayor. Do you have information about the missing girls? Yes, I do. Oh, you think someone killed Freya? Have you found any proof? There is a serial killer on the loose, mister. I mean, do you really need proof? Whatever, here's the phone. Here you go, Mr. Mayor. And yes, we actually do have pictures of the murderer on the phone. We have pictures of him committing murder. Thank you. I'll give this evidence to the chief of police. Please bring me any other evidence you find. Thank you, creepy-faced mayor. Yeah, that guy has a really creepy face. Hey, ghost girl! How's it going? Well, oh, thanks for the help, ghost girl. All floating around and stuff. Cool. Okay, so, uh... The police, oh, I guess they're just hanging around for whatever reason. And we have the car key so we can open up the car in the past. This is a puzzle. What you want to do is move things left and right. So the top one looks like this. The middle one looks like that. As you can see, it matches the picture on the left. So you want to find the symbol which matches the picture on the left. Okay, so that looks like that. That is that. That one's got to go there. That one there. One more round. Uh, those go over there. I've got to move that top one back into place again. And this one here. That one there. Top one back into place again. So as you can see, you want to move those things in a specific order. So, time traveling into the past, we get... A box cutter. Certificate of ownership. This one square kilometer of land is private property. It's illegal to trespass. Mayor. 
Well, that is a weird, weird law to make, Mr. Mayor. Strange. So here we want to spell out A-M-H. So you do the first letter, then the second letter, and then the first letter. And that gives us an antenna. So the antenna will let us press this button. Pokey, pokey, pokey. And now we can go forward. Oh, time traveling glasses. Gotta use time traveling glasses. Okay, so the killer was there. The killer went inside this area for his secret hideout. So secret hideout is somewhere around here, and this is where he buries all the bodies. Also, I think I found more stupid deaths. So stupid death number four, a drunk athlete tried to do the high dive in a swimming pool, didn't notice the pool had no water. Photo with a bear, she tried to take a selfie with a bear, and the bear killed her. Wow. Wow. Um, just wow. This, this game is kind of crazy sometimes. And, uh, we've got another photo of, uh, one of the dead girls. Not the one that tried to take a picture with a bear. This is, this is a teacher who was kidnapped by school. Uh, near the school, I should say. Okay, and we find a ghostly key! A rope ladder! And just some random school thing. Ghostly key will open up the hideout for us. Well, not exactly. The, the murderer's hideout is through here, so we need to find a way to get through that door to reach the hideout. Okay, so there are some things, and I use the box cutter here. Get some cat food. And let's see, this needs a light, so light bulb over here. For a hidden objects challenge. This is one of those hidden objects challenges where you need to find specific things and use them on other things. So for example, I find the broom, I use it here to sweep over, sweep off some, you know, dusty stuff. And let's see, a crowbar, I can use it here, get rid of that lock. Let's see, acid, I put acid in a beaker here. And then I'm going to dump it over here to clear that up. Fires over there for a handle. <laughs> Let's see. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my uh, scissors. Here we go. I open up this thing with scissors. Get a battery for that. Then I'm going to put holes into this. So I can move that aside, and that gives me a handle. And what I'm doing here is I'm rebuilding a shovel. I will use that shovel to clear away the trash. And that's how you solve that puzzle. So that gives me a rusty machete, which is not something I generally get every day. No, not really. So you want to use the machete over here for a strange randomized puzzle. <laughs> uh, the goal of this puzzle is to confuse a beaver. So, um, it's really hard to do this puzzle, actually. Because you want to you wanna make holes in order to stop the beaver from reaching the top of the screen. But you'll notice, uh, you, you need to have strategic holes here. So if I mean, I mean, if I cut the hole to the right, maybe if I stop the beaver there, and nope. Beaver easily gets to turn around. Oh, there we go. I think that worked. I captured the beaver. All right. Stupid beaver should have gone upright instead of going straight right. <laughs> it would have won if it had done that. Okay, so I get three things here, including some uh, can opener. So I'm going to get myself some cat food. Cat food for the cat. Hi, kitty. 
You look like an angry, nasty kitty. Have some food. Wow, that cat really loves its food, huh? Okay, so I get a, a, a skull token. And this medallion goes here with the picture of that woman. I have no idea who she is. Giving me the other skull token. And now, we can go forward to the murderer's hideout. <laughs>